I think Poirier is going to pull it out just by the looks of the last fight, unless Connor somehow brings back old Connor. But I mean, that's hard when he's, you know, sitting where he's at financially and just uh, his life where it's at right now. So I'm going to go with Poirier. I, honestly, I, I think I got to go with McGregor on this trilogy fight. Um, if he comes out and fights the way he used to fight, like if he comes out and fights the way he fought Dustin in the first fight, where he threw a lot of kicks opening up the round, I mean, spinning back kicks and, and a lot of that stuff. I think he, you know, I, I was listening to uh, Wonderboy Thompson did an interview not long ago, and he was talking about Connor going back to that sort of uh, karate style that he used to use in a lot of his fights, which he does early most of the time. And then he switches to that more of a heavy boxing style. Um, I think if, me, if, if Connor does that, he's he's got a really good chance of winning. But man, Dustin's a dog, man. I, I really like Dustin. That kid is uh, he's been grinding for years and he, he uh, you know, he's not afraid to get in there and, and scrap. And, and I think if the fight goes longer, it's definitely it leads towards uh, Dustin. And, uh, you know, Connor's a front runner, man. He's, he comes out fast, but he starts to fade later in the fights. Um, so I think McGregor wins. If he wins, it's probably going to be by knockout early. Um, if not, you know, if it goes later, then yeah, I, I'd put my money on Dustin for sure. I got Dustin. I think he finishes him. I think he does. Yeah. I think Dustin's just, that guy is so gritty. That guy's been in so many wars lately. He knows how to dig deep. I think Connor's gritty too, but I think those calf kicks are going to add up again. I think Dustin's just going to be in his face the whole time. And I see Connor kind of gassing out, breaking a little bit, maybe in like the third or fourth round. Ah, it's so hard, man, because... Conor McGregor changed the sport as is as as he done he, he done a lot of thing and he he's very explosive but I love so much uh, Dustin Poirier and the ATT American Top Team I love the, the I I go there uh, uh, sometime and I love the team I love all the coach all of the place but. Oh man, you you ask me that it's hard man but uh, I think Conor Conor gonna gonna. He's not gonna let this trilogy go in the hand of Dustin Poirier. Conor McGregor do do a lot of things, and when he do something, he do it good. And I think he's gonna be in the best shape of his life for this fight. And uh, sometimes people uh, forgot who's Conor McGregor, and uh, I think he, he's gonna win. He's gonna knock them out in the second round, I think. Ah, uh, so. McGregor is a class A act. He is Mystic Mac, right? He's the guy that's always said what was going to happen and, and made it happen. Um, I really like Poirier. Um, I really like Nate Diaz when Nate Diaz fought McGregor. I also know that McGregor does really well at coming back from a loss. I mean, again, you look at the Nate Diaz, he's, he always makes adjustments really quick. Um, I would love to see Poirier win, but I think it's going to be a McGregor. I think McGregor's going to be able to come back. Um, I think there's a lot on the line for him if he doesn't, right? Because now he's like, now he could go back to Nate Diaz, but um, he wins, he gets a title shot. So I think he's probably coming in here with a, with a mission to, to make this like a one and done so that he goes home and shows everybody else that he's still got it. Um, but I'd love Poirier to win, but I don't think it's going to happen. I think it's going to be McGregor. I, I got a, I mean, I, I keep going back and forth. I got a soft spot for Connor. He's definitely one of my favorites to watch. I never root against him. I'm definitely rooting for Connor. I feel like my heart's saying Connor, but my brain's saying Poirier. If I had to probably bet my life, I'd probably take the safe route and go with Dustin. But uh, part of me thinks Connor's going to pull it off. I got Dustin Poirier, man. I, I think Con I love Connor McGregor, man. I really do. My wife absolutely demises Connor McGregor. She hates the fact that he talks shit. She hates the fact that that he he wins fights. She absolutely demises. I love the guy. I love what he's done for the sport. Uh, especially in terms of fighters pay, but just just his movement, his everything he's good at. He's a phenomenal fighter, but I think Dustin Poirier is just that that you saw in the last fight that he's just going to grind. If you can't knock Dustin Poirier out, if Connor can't knock him out, then Dustin's just going to keep boxing him, keep putting him away, and, and I think Dustin will just wear him down with his boxing. And just and I think he's going to I think he's going to TKO Conor McGregor again. I honestly do. What round? I'll go round three this time. I think I think Greg is going to come out hot, and I think Dustin's going to have a rough first round, kind of like he did last time. Um, and then round two, I think it'll be a little more even. I think Connor, I don't think of Connor a gas, but I think round three, Dustin will just kind of find his range 
and just start putting pieces together. Ah, so tough. You know, I keep going back and forth. Um, I like them both, and uh, it's it's just a, it's, it's a tough decision. Um, I kind of am leaning towards Connor. Uh, it's tough for me. Like I, like I said, I'm going like back and forth. I mean, like even right now, I'm like, yeah, I'm leaning towards Connor, but then I'm like, I don't know, you know. Um, like I just watched an interview where Dustin was like, uh, he was saying, um, what was he saying? How uh, he sees himself getting a submission, and I'm like, oh man, like that's not good for Connor, you know. If he goes out there and takes him down and and uh, looks for a sub, you know, that's not great for Connor. But um, yeah, I don't know. I just think that Connor. I thought Connor in the first fight was uh, just. I thought his hands looked better. I know he got knocked out, you know, or TKO'd. But leading up to that, I just thought he looked so fast, and he was putting things together super nice. He was like extremely um, boxer heavy, you know, and um, that's what I think was bad for his uh, his leg. You know, getting leg kicked, he was so heavy on his front leg. And then um, also, you know, he just wasn't as dynamic as he as he is when he's in that like karate stance and really moving around. So I think that this fight, you know, I'm hoping that he he's more like that, you know, like his old fights, you know, where he's not just only boxing, he's throwing kicks, he's doing everything. Um, so it's tough. I think that I think Connor could pull it off. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go towards Connor. I, I don't know, man. It's hard. I, I like I like both of them. I think I think Connor is good for the sport when he's winning. Everybody win with when when Connor's winning, but Dustin. Dustin's been active, man. He's been fighting all the time. He's he's got the momentum, and, and uh, he's a different fighter than he was like before. So is, this is a tricky one. But uh, and Con and people forget about to say Con is rich. He have no motivation. He was a double champ. He was a featherweight and light heavyweight champ. So tough one. And uh, I think I think I'm gonna go with Connor. 